Hello, Peter. Good to see you again. I am so happy that you can be able to join us. Likewise. Hi, Young. We at World in Catalyst are truly excited to work with you to lead this round, working with some really exciting players, NGP Capital, Bessemer, others are all joining us to support your journey. So tell us about Anybotics. Yeah. So with Anybotics, our vision is really creating a workforce of autonomous robots. And it all starts with our two core products, which is Animal and Animal X. These are four-legged robots that we use to automate routine inspection tasks in heavy industries, which are complex facilities where you really need the reliable and consistent data to run this facility reliably and safely and sustainably. So there we help our customers to take over some of the tedious work through autonomous robots that walk through the facility and gather valuable data. So Peter, robotics has been around a long time. What makes you differentiated? Why do you think it's time we can be able to deploy robots successfully in these new industrial applications? And I would like to hear your differentiation and how you can be able to uh, create these new opportunities. What are the killer apps? Yeah. So today is really automating tasks that people do manually. There's a range of IoT sensors that can already cover some aspects, but really the big picture is that today multiple hours are used by the task 24-7 by the crew on site to gather data with their eyes and ears. And that's just not a scalable and safe way to do that because our eyes and brains are just not designed to do that. So we can use the robots to gather more data more frequently. And typically you have to imagine it's visual data, reading gauges, finding hotspots, finding leakages, cracks, missing screws. So there's so many things that can go wrong. And through that data, through the reliability and automation of these manual tasks, we can provide this very important key aspect in automating and and making the industry more autonomous. So given your comments around autonomous and being able to learn and being able to adapt and being able to have an application knowledge seems to be a key differentiation. What are some of your go-to-market model? What are some of your success so far? And tell us a little bit about your customers. Yeah. So right now we're focused on the heavy industries, a lot in the oil and gas companies, Shai, Petronas and Shell. And we work in mining and mining metals and minerals with Utokumpu Vale. We work in the energy sector with Siemens Energy. So it's really all these asset heavy complex industries. And typically our customers are leading international companies that have hundreds and if not thousands of facilities. So we typically work with these customers and start with deploying the first handful of robots show the value, how it works, and then take it from there in scaling. Clearly, the advancement in compute, network, memory, as well as the motors are creating whole new advancement in robotics and solutions, as well as creating autonomous using AI and ML. What are some of the things that you see that are coming technological roadmap perspective that we should be excited about? Absolutely. It's a very, very exciting time. Because right now we can use high-end computers, GPUs, but also small sensors, 3D sensing, LiDAR, stereo cameras around the robot. And that's been really a core enabler to make these robots performant as they are today and perceived environment for, for full autonomy. That's very important. One of the key aspects is how we apply reinforcement learning for the robot's locomotion. Now, we're not programming the robot anymore on how it should walk, but the robot learns by itself. And how we do that is through... Thousands of operating hours, but in simulation. But overnight, the robot learns an artificial neural network. We put on a real robot and it truly works like magic and really outperforms previous kind of more model predictive approaches from the past. And we see the same levels through AI also apply to higher level cognition, scene understanding, contextual understanding, computer vision to refine anomalies in the environment. So it's really have a fantastic time to use AI and use the embodiment through robotics to help our customers. It's a fascinating time. What started 10 years ago in basic research, now we're shipping the robots into our hands of our customers and they love it, it helps them, um, and they want more. So it's a truly fascinating time. So, you know, some people say robotics could be a niche, industrial could be a niche, but we believe that this is exciting space that can open up whole new applications that really the robots can do and safely 
and save lives of operators and humans in a very difficult environment. Is this a niche? Is it going to be large market? Or what are some of the killer apps that's going to drive the large volume opportunities for in this space? So today, we're laser focused on our four-legged robots, Animal and Animal X, for industrial inspection. But that includes already a range of industries. So through our market sizing, I mean, you see there's 150,000 plants worldwide that could apply, that could use one or multiple robots. That corresponds to a total addressable market of 30 billion already. Now, that's just a starting point. If you think of what we're building, then also being able to manipulate the environment, go on construction sites, eventually build different applications for logistics, agriculture. I think the sky is the limit in that regard. Great. Thanks a lot for joining us today, Peter. I really enjoyed our talk. I look forward to working with you. I think we have a great mission to make the difference, save lives and creating technology that can be able to really make a big impact. Have a great day. Absolutely. We couldn't be more excited to have Walton Catalyst, NGP and others join this company and together, I believe, truly build a world leader in robotics.